Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna go ahead and do something I've been meaning to do for a very long time and that is clean up my wheels. From when I was out of state for that period in time, uh, my car was outside. I uh, should have put it inside, but pretty much at that time, it was still being renovated inside the garage. It's not that bad, but it's just the water spots. And as you can see, it kind of lost its luster. Like see over here in these spots, the water stains. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the wheels off and polish them up. And I'm gonna go ahead and start on the, was it passenger front? And then tomorrow go off to the driver front and then next day the rear and then the other rear side. So wheel is finally off now. So as you can see inside here, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> so most of my time is gonna end up trying to clean up inside of here. So in the bucket, all I have is just soap and water. So I'm just gonna go in here and start cleaning out inside here and um, getting all this gunk. So yeah, should not be that hard, It'll just be surface dirt. So this is the progress where I'm at right now. I went ahead and like washed off the dirt that needed to be washed off, but it still leave like this. So pretty much it just leaves this uh, little bit of fine dirt on there. So it's using a 2000 grit sandpaper and wet sanding it lightly. I go ahead and um, get the stuff off. So if you see, go through and get it like that. So with 2000 grit sandpaper, I finally got the whole inner barrel cleaned up. It's not as good as I want it to be, but it's as good as it's gonna get for now until later on I actually take the whole wheel apart. So the only parts I didn't get to was up here by the bolts, which really didn't make no sense because it'll take me forever and a day to do this. And just for one wheel clean out inner and outer barrel part was like an hour, hour 10 minutes or so. So I went into the crevices right here with the 2000 grit, cleaned down in here, just slightly sand it down and clean it. And went on the outside part of the lip and did the same thing. So after this whole wheel dries up, then I could go ahead and polish it up. All right, so I'm finished with the first wheel and after the wet sand and buffing of the wheel, it came out pretty good. Uh, took me like another hour or so, so in total, almost like two hours on this wheel. So I expect to do like, what, eight hours total on all these wheels. So pretty much on to the next wheel. Two days later. Okay, so two days later and I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna bother to jack the car up. So I'm on day three now and I got three wheels done. So I only have one more left to do. And this is how they look so far. So the only one I have left is the front. And as you can see, this is how badly they looked. You can see the water spots on there. So even if you wash it, it still will uh, look exactly the same. So pretty much by cleaning it up, that's when it starts to sparkle and shine again. So the first thing I'm gonna do is soak it up. I wash it off, make sure it's clean of all dirt and debris. So the good thing about these wheels, it's not that hard to clean. So. Have it on mist mode since I'm cleaning it in the garage. I want to get it soaked in there. I would do it outside, but it's raining. So. thousand grit sandpaper and wet it and start to do a light sand so from left to right left to right pretty much gonna lightly sand on one section so I'm gonna start from here and go up to like here and then go from section to section like that so starting from my outer lip and then moving my way in so I wish the best way to clean is without to take the whole thing apart but I don't really have much time to like go through de-beating the, not de-beating, but taking the tire off and taking the bolts off and taking all the three pieces aside and cleaning them each separately. That'd be the best way of cleaning this whole thing. So hence why I'm like, nah, it don't make sense 
me go ahead and take the wheels off. So might as well just clean them like this. So it's just right now just to make sure it just looks clean. That's my main objective. This is how it should look. When you're sanding it, it's gonna turn like black or dark or whatever. That's how it was turning. But after I spray it down, like after I'm after I'm like sanding, I just spray it down and wash it off because I want to make sure that the pad stays clean and no debris gets rubbed back into the metal. So yeah, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and make it dry. I'm gonna wipe it down and make sure it's clean. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing this thing in. All right, so this is it all dried up and see how it looks pretty, it looks clean as heck. The only thing is it just needs to be polished out and make shiny. So what I'm gonna use is this product right here, Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. It smells, it has a smell to it. It smells like hair product or whatever, like some really strong stuff. Sexy? One, two, three. Just let it show so good. Just let it shine through. Just let it show so But yeah, it's some pretty strong stuff. So yeah, when you first open it, it's going to smell bad. But I'm pretty much using this for my wheels. Um, they pretty much work pretty good so what i like about it is that it leaves a coating on it so even when you put water on it it splashes off and it's easy to just wipe off dirt and clean so if i do this like at least once every six months or so uh these things should stay pretty clean all the time okay so first time i'm gonna use this applicator pad make sure to put some gloves on dip it in get a nice amount on there and then i just like wipe it down into it like so so same premise, I do like a section at a time, like how I was doing when I was sanding it. So, so it's black now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping it down. So see how you wipe down, all of a sudden it starts to like sparkle. So compared to down, I can't really do a comparison right now. I gotta finish wiping this down, but <laughs> It's starting to get more luster to it. All right, so see how this whole thing is sparkling now. So up top, bottom, top, bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start going from here and over to here. So this area all the way over and we'll be done with this wheel. All right, so since I did the other top part and I did this whole part by hand, so I pretty much went ahead and reapplied another coat of the polish. And what I use is my drill bit, my drill, this, and I go ahead and give it one buff through with that, then clean it, and then pretty much we're done. So this is how it looks with a drill after going through and polishing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with a microfiber towel and we should be completely done now. They're done now, so you can see they're pretty much sparkling right now. Uh, so glad this is done now. So now I could actually go ahead and get it washed up and get some oil and get it ready.